and welcome everybody on YouTube and of course everybody here on Twitch also here on this wonderful Friday night or whatever day it is that you're watching on YouTube you're probably watching in the future which is weird future is weird anyway um, we got Selesnya Angels here we played this yesterday we went 5-0 it went real well we're trying it again we got the new kind of addition to the deck was the Assure Assembles as kind of our version of Dive Down. You know, we've seen how good Dive Down is in the format in like the Drake decks in particular. And we kind of have some similar things to Drake's. Like these these um, angels are kind of like the Drake's. So like where if we get to untap with them, we get to keep them around, they're really good. And so, you know, we're having our own Assure Assemble to help protect them. It worked out well yesterday. So let's go ahead and run it back. And let's get, go ahead and go to our games. <laughs> Having a future in 2019, yep. Let's play. <laughs> Greetings from the future. What happened to all the common and uncommon wild cards? Yeah, I, I, uh, I decided to buy four of every every single common and uncommon just in arena that I did not have I I went and used a wild card on so I have 4x of every single common and uncommon so basically the reason why I did that is because I'm not really planning on using those common on um, common wild cards on other things because like whenever the new set comes out I'll be playing enough limited to get to get those and everything and I'll get more common and uncommon wild cards but now every pack that we open like whenever I we open like an M19 pack no matter what, I'll just pay this life. No matter what, I'll have the, uh, like, all the commons and uncommons we open, I'm going to have 4x of them, so I'll have, like, all those points towards the vault. You know, so. So basically just making sure they get extra points and, and not have like or had three of whatever uncommon and we opened up the fourth. No, I want the uncommon points towards the vault. The vault is um all all your fifth copies of cards and extra copies of cards go towards something called the vault. Go towards the vault progress. And um Beast Whisper. Does the opponent just not have lands? That'd be good. Okay, no lands. That's good. Um, go History of Benalia. Resplendent Angel is more important. I don't want Resplendent Angel to get cast down. So let, we're just running out these History of Benalias first to get some more blockers for Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, to see your vault progress, uh, you cannot see it in the main screen here. You can see it in like your log files. I don't know exactly how to do it. You can find like a YouTube video on how to, to find that like in your log files on your computer. You can also have like a, a tracker like uh, MTGA Pro Tracker if you kind of if you connect your account to that. Uh, that'll show you your progress of like your collection and everything and, and also the progress of your vault on there. Thanks. Glad you like these planes. No, I'm walking. I'm recording the. I'm recording right now, and I'm gonna upload to to YouTube after the league. That's how. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm not streaming on YouTube. Also, I don't even know how to stream on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I'm just recording through OBS, like how we're streaming through OBS. Oh, Shalai is horrible for us. So I guess I'm going to block this Wild Growth Walker with a bunch of things, I think. I was really hoping that the Wild Growth Walker was still going to be was gonna be a 4-6 still, where I could triple block and kill it. That's what I was hoping. That's why I did not trade with Branch Walker. Oh, this is, this is just getting even worse. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. 
A sure assemble would be like like the best thing to, to draw probably. Well, let's see. Actually, maybe we're not dead. Maybe we're not. Let's see. All right, and speaking of YouTube uploading, let me... I am now uploading the Demir Quasi Sacrifice deck right now. Ooh, they are not killing. Not killing Resplendent Angel. So we are going to be able to, to activate Resplendent Angel next turn and gain 5 life and make 2 four fours Because they did not get to Vivian. They kept Fine Finality, which is a little weird in my opinion. Pretty surprised they kept Fine Finality and didn't look for a land for a Vivian. Like, I, I do not mind my opponent casting Fine next turn. Ah, oh, they got a Vivian there. Okay, so... So if they if they play Vivian, they could minus and kill a 4-4? Four four? Or like they they have to minus and kill a resplendent angel. We're actually just in a good spot. Really they I guess they need finality. So they're keeping fine because they they want finality. They want the the minus 4 minus 4. That's what's going to get us here. Yeah. Finality minus four minus four is gonna be would be a huge problem. If we draw a Lyra Dawnbringer, we can have a crap ton of lifelink and kinda of start over. Yeah, Lyra Dawnbringer would be a great draw. That's that's our best draw. Hopefully draw on Lyra Dawnbringer. A Johnny wouldn't be that good. We'd only just make these 4-4 four, four Angels 5-5s. Five that's, that's not even that. I mean, I would activate Resplendent Angel over playing a Johnny. Yeah. Dawnbringer is like the only thing I do over activating Resplendent Angel there. Oh, I should I should have played Flourish and just got a land out and put another land into play. Doesn't really matter. I probably should have done that. Thanks, uh, J J Koff. Ford, I'm glad you glad you're enjoying the music. We are dead. Are we dead? I don't know. Let's let's just play stuff. See what happens. Should have flowered last turn. Maybe I wouldn't have drawn that land. Who would have cast flower? Block, blockity, block, block. Jump city. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. 
Meet my new. I have Takali's in the main deck. We we did not draw Takali's for obvious reasons, but yeah, there's four Takali main deck. Yeah, that's true. That is there was that time I had explosion for one. Should have probably just played out. Alright. Get this get a land out of our deck. No one knows the wilds like I do. I don't have anything main deck to really deal with a, a Wild Breath Walker. Beast Whisper is a, an interesting card that you don't see very many Golgari players play. That's their second Beast Whisper. They had another one. It's certainly good against me. I don't have like much removal. It's certainly good against me. Daylight out of here. No, no Novas or anything like that, main deck. I have nothing for this Wild Growth Walker. I have just actual zero removal spells for it. Alright, sideboard time. We get our Cleansing Novas in, get two Carnage Tyrants, another one Sure, assure Assemble, um, a Danto Vanguard out, and uh, what else? Cut one and Johnny. All right. That's the sideboard plan. Yeah. I mean, we saw them have Assassin's Trophy. Like a trophy, Ixlon's Binding. Also. Binding is only good against Vivian and, and nothing else, because Vivian killing their Binding is, is kind of a heartbreaker. And then, yeah, we, we did see them have... Um, Assassin's Trophy also. It's a card I've never really wanted in this matchup. Yeah, Tristani is <clears throat> is expensive and just not as good as Dawnbringer and Vivian, and you just can't have millions of five drops. And I have just I have Dawnbringers and Vivians. Well, this hand can certainly be bad. But we'll see. I would love to call the honor guard right here. Let's call the honor guard. I'll fill the curve nicely, though. What are they doing with this Wild Growth Walker? Alright, Graveyard. So we don't have to worry about really big Wild Growth Walkers. So that's good. Copy. Paste. Magic Gathering Arena. Core date today. No, it's not necessarily wrong to mulligan for um, Honor Guard in this matchup, or or mulligan kind of a weaker hand to, to try to find Honor Guard. It's certainly not necessarily wrong. So 
So even when the knights are four threes, like the four threes will still trade with Branch Walker. I'm gonna go ahead and cast that here. I want to incentivize my opponent to cast find. I want them to cast find and get these things back. I don't want them to be able to hold on for finality. I don't think they're gonna have. I, mean, I don't think they're gonna have uh, the eldest reborn. <coughs> that would be certainly be a huge pain, though, if they did. No. Nope. They just have Vivian Reed. The Perfect wild card. wasn't meant to be contained. I'll take a Vivian Reed. Can we draw one of ours? We have three. Nope. Connor's Tyrant, though. Giving Knight Token's lifelink isn't good enough to play Tessa, right? Um, <clears throat> I've seen things that would Tessa break gives someone Knight like Token's you. lifelink? No, oh, creature tokens you control have Vigilance lifelink. Yeah. Um, like, not necessarily in this deck, but just overall, yeah. That's good. Yeah, Chupacabra into Vivian on curve is really hard for us to beat in general. <clears throat> um, the Golgari decks moving to tons and tons of Vivians has really hurt the Selesnya Angel deck, but um, us drawing the Carnage Tyrant was a great draw. Oh, I'm so glad they graveyard that Vivian. So glad they graveyard Vivian. Damn, damn, damn. It's gonna be really hard for me to beat this Vivian. And I certainly can't beat a second one. The wild. They're choosing Vivian over Vraska because it costs one less, um, and they like the tick up ability more than making a two-two. But that extra mana less that it costs in general has been. Uh, Is, is something that's really difficult for this. Um, before, whenever they just played a bunch of... Whenever Golgari played a bunch of Vraskas, I would always bring in Sorcerer's Spyglass for Vraska. It was awesome. And then I'd have my own Vivians. But now that they're just playing a bunch of Vivians, Wild I can't really bring in my Spyglass for Vivian. And it's really hurt the deck. All right, so Honor Guard stops their Chupacabra. Yes, I sure did put it on a dress shirt and tie for stream watchers. Yes. Why not flourish? I'm never casting flourish. Like what? A, there's no creatures for me to flourish. And I think just removing land from the deck and continuing to hit land drops is, is better. Balance we have stuff like Arch of Araska in our deck. We have things like Thorn Lieutenant and Resplendent Angel that you can use lots of mana on. And Shalai. Um, there's just a lot of mana sinks in the deck. Yeah, I, I don't strike like me sp splashing red for a really a Clarion and Lava Coil. I don't think it's it's worth it. I don't think that those cards help any tough matchups or like any doesn't really help anything. It's not worth the the mana. Troubles. No one so knows the wilds like I do. So Shalai four. Okay, so I cannot play Shalai and Cleansing Nova. So it's Cleansing Nova and Honor Garden.
Their Vivian's gonna ultimate before ours right now. Balance comes. Oh, I could have flourished when I had Carnage Tyrant on the battlefield. That's what you're saying. I guess I probably could have done that. Actually, I didn't. I just did not consider that. That's what. You, that's what your question was. Was flourish whenever Carnage Tyrant was there. Yeah, that actually probably would have just been better. I actually clicked destroy creatures there. Like, I clicked destroy creatures that other time, also. I'm good at clicking destroy creatures. You can't stop nature. Three, four, five, six. Alright, so we still have Thorn Lieutenant activation up. So I need to get like a need to find an angel. I was hoping to find an angel there, because even if I've even if they minus their Vivian to kill my angel, like you. Um, at least take away three loyalty from Vivian, right? So I was I was actually just really hoping to find an angel there with that that tick up. So we got to find one here. We can't let them just pass again and and get Vivian up to eight and just chump block our Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, they're just throwing that out there as a chump blocker. So that's another chump blocker. <laughs> the angel in my room is covered in fur. That's true. Here he is. I didn't even see he was up there. Come to me. Really? No angel? Well, this is terrible. Looks like we're going to lose. Ugh. We had 10 looks at it. Any angel there between draw step, tick up Vivian, draw step, tick up Vivian, and we saw zero. And it's not like we've just gotten lots of angels out of our decks. We've you know, we've played two so far. We have, like, put a decent amount on... Like, we have seen, like, one or so each time that we put on the bottom of Vivian. But... Cleansing Nova before the ultimate doesn't... doesn't help us in the slightest. Because they just play more creatures afterwards. Friend. Now, bindings and tribunals are not usually good in this matchup. It's just this one, you know, scenario that it could be. Well, even if we found an angel, they could they had Assassin's Trophy in their hands, so they were going to be able to Assassin's Trophy and kill an angel that way. No, I don't have any bindings in yeah, maybe I could ultimate Vivian my own. Maybe I could just also ultimate Vivian. You're just in the way. Okay. You're up there. Okay, fine. You can go back up there. You can block my view. Fetch the pen? No? Okay. Alright, yeah, we, we will be able to kill all their creatures. I mean, they get to whack our Vivian for one. So our Vivian's down to five. I'm a survivor. Is 
Vivian goes up to six. The wilds are my shield. Destroy all creatures. Play Dawnbringer or Honor Guard? Honor Guard. They just get to Memorial Folly back. Chupacabra if I don't bring her or find finality get back Chupacabra. I have to play honor guard first. Oh I I would love them to Lyra minus three to kill I'd love them to Vivian minus three to kill Lyra, but they won't. They'll just Chupacabra kill Dawnbringer. I would have loved for them just to Vivian kill it, because that's not Vivian ultimating. Time. But they'll just use Find or Folly to to get back Chupacabra to kill Dawnbringer. Alright, so now I have to try to ultimate this Vivian as well. We have to have dueling Vivian ultimates. Find Broker, Wild Growth Walker. Those cards do nothing. Well, I mean, they attack. Oh, auto tap. Do not get to play Find Broker also. Meet my newest friend. Three, so four, five. So I can play Carnage Tyrant and Dawnbringer. Sounds like a plan to me. Gotta be able to protect Vivian, so we need these big bodies. So Karn can minus and get back Thorn Lieutenant or Honor Guard. Or a Johnny, sorry, not Karn. A Johnny can. <laughs> okay, he's watching a Johnny right now. But see, remember, all their creatures have trample and are indestructible. Come on, Shalai. Ooh, Shalai. Oh, Resplendent Angel. Resplendent Angel. Resplendent Angel, we're doing it. We are doing it. Let's attack. I think we got this. Or we're in a great spot right now. I don't know if you've ever seen somebody lose with a Vivian emblem. I am proud to fight by your side. But we are doing Be it. Be strong. I'm building Takali Honor Guard up to be able to survive a finality. I mean, if, if we actually ultimate Vivian. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you've got claws. Nature brings your reckoning. Bunch of nine nines. I, I was even gonna be able to make that. So that's twenty seven in the air. I was gonna get another two, another three, four. I was gonna get another four in the air. Okay, we're going to game three. We're still in it. We are still in there. Um, nothing to change. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for all the kind words there in chat, everybody. 
What's the highest win loss you've had before on a deck you built? Uh, honestly, this one was was up there. Um, I remember our, our first two times we ever played this deck in mid October. We were forty one and five here on stream on Arena, playing this deck on two days. I, I didn't have like my my big Arena collection yet. You know, it's like mid October. We were working towards it, and so we just played it straight for like seven eight hours straight twice, and we were forty one and five. And just just beat Golgari every single time, but you know Golgari is, is certainly adapted since then. At the time, at the time, nobody was playing Takali Honor Guard at all. Like that was not a card anybody had in any deck ever. And so I had four in the main deck, and there was a whole lot of green black everywhere, and they just were not ready for it one bit. Ashura Semple's honestly been pretty impressive. Uh, we didn't get it there, but it's it's a card we need to be able to play an Angel and keep it alive from a Chupacabra or a Vivian minus. We need it, we, like that Assure Assemble that keeps it alive, and then it can attack back and kill the Vivian kind of thing. It's, it's honestly been very impressive. Uh, and now, now they play more cast downs, like they did. They weren't playing cast down at the time to kill it, or trophy, or like anything. They basically had like Vraskas and Finalities as like the only things to kill it. And they weren't playing Vivians either. And so I, my, my cyborg plan was just bringing in three Sorcerer Spy Glasses and naming the Vraskas. And then after that, after like naming the Vraskas, they just really did not have like any way to to kill them. And they couldn't kill my Flyers because I named the Vraskas because they weren't really playing Vivians at the time. Honestly, don't mind that card too much. Don't mind that card too much. That one's a little different. Pretty good card, though. They can already have Vivian next turn. Yeah, and like, fine finalities, they'd have like two, maybe, you know. No, I never played Hearthstone. I mean, I think I played it just a tad whenever it was very first came out, like a long, long ago, whenever that was. I played a tad on, on like my phone or my iPad or something like that. I think I had an iPad back in those days. Um, but, uh, yeah, wasn't really, wasn't really captivating. Um... So you cast, yeah, if they cast fine Finality and get back Jade Light, Brontodon, I'm happy with that. What do we want to do next turn? We want to play Dawnbringer, Vivian, Hawkeye. I think I'm going to go Vivian minus kill. Vivian minus kill Bloodfast. Let's attack here first and kind of see what our opponent does. Alright, so we know that they're going to have less, less ways to attack a Vivian that's in play. So yeah, I'm just going to play Vivian, kill the Blood Fast. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Sometimes restoration means And we trade off a lot of resources for their creatures. If they're just like Slam Carnage Tyrant, I can Cleansing Nova. I mean, I'm sure Elvish Rejuvenator is just like a one-of in their deck. Yeah, for the... Oh, people were doing that just a little bit ago. Yeah, MTG bot, like, yeah, it takes a little bit of break, but there you go. To always find my decks, it's just streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. So, real easy to remember to find all the deck lists on Streamdecker there. 
you know, streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG. YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C for channel slash Todd Stevens MTG. So you just got to get that the little slash thing in there. And I may potentially want to lead with Shalai first <clears throat> to, to have Shalai protect the other angels. Now we're getting started. I'm just gonna get another white source because we're spelling angel taking three white to activate. just traded there? What are they doing? We need another mana before we can play Shalai plus Resplendent, so let's just let's just bring some carnage. <laughs> I look like a super villain when petting the cat. Oh right, Carnage Tyrant dies to with detection tower. Right. Right, right, right. Play another Argos Bloodfast. Go ahead. Last card. Bloodfast? I want to destroy all enchantments and artifacts. I'm still going to do that, but... Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Zerf, I was very happy they had that block there. Uh oh. Come to me. Let's see if you're worthy. Mm. That's not good. This is the worst possible card for us. So they can kill both with minus Vivian and Chupacabra. And then we have Dawnbringer. And then they can kill Dawnbringer with minus Vivian again. And then we have another Dawnbringer. That Vivian is, was, was awesome. Like, you know, that's just great. It, that Vivian got them Jade Light and is just going to kill Resplendent <laughs> Angel and Get Dawnbringer. That out of here. You know, like, that's just such a good guard. Just trade so. Just trade so much. Um, I guess I could play Carnage Tyrant, but Carnage Tyrant doesn't actually have hexproof with this detection tower. I think I want to play the Dawnbringer. Because they could just play another another ground creature, and then Carnage Tyrant can't get through at Vivian. And I don't want them just to be ticking up Vivian even more. Balance comes. Man. Vivian's just the, the one card that's the real problem in this matchup for me. That's why I love it. That's why I've really liked the Assure Assembles. Like, can you imagine if we had Assure Assemble to, like, make our creature indestructible, and then you just attack back and kill Vivian? It's, it's just so good. All right, well, now I'm just playing Carnage Tyrant. I, they're, Vivian's at four loyalty. I can't really just play my Dawnbringer because it kills it and stays alive. You can't stop nature. Too much though. Dang. 0 and 1. Maybe we need more sure assemble. Yeah, maybe I just put in more sure assembles. You know, worst case you're spending six to make three two twos.
But I, you know, I thought we were going to have that game, and then our opponent played Vivian, and it was kind of over. Looking back at it, myself playing the Vivian earlier, I regret for playing Vivian minusing on the, the thing. Like, they did have... They did, of course, have um, Contempt to take out Vivian. It's the thing. They have Contempt to take out my Vivian. I don't have a Contempt to take out their Vivian. That's tough. Alright, Zerf. Have a good night. Uh, no, there's not, like, a real way to see all, like, the, the scores of the decks. No, like, like, the records of the different decks that I have there. No. I wish I could put, like, records in there and in, in Stream Decker and stuff, put, like, notes with it. But there's not. Well, I like that thing eating a lava foil. Well, I mean, when, when we keep a two-lander drawn, you know, missing our third land drop on the draw, just drawing non-land, non-land, non-land. It's not what we want. Would you consider playing Adventurous Impulse? No. Oh, that's true. They use Assassin's Trophy for Vivian. That's true. Goblin Warchief, huh? Mm, I guess I shouldn't concede yet. I have 27 lands in the deck. I count, like, the flowers, the lands. You know, like, we've kept two. I have 27, and I got 23 lands and four flowers. It's quite a bit. We'll win, we'll win games two and three, though. No, like, all I needed was, like, a, if I get another land, history could, like, make some blockers and get towards Dawnbringer, but we didn't get there. All right, so Siloe, Binding, Nova, Knight. I'm not sure about Knight. Vanguard's out of here. One Vivian, two a Johnny. Throw a Knight in there. One night. Yeah, but the, the gain life part of night is not very valuable. So you just get a 2-1 that doesn't trade with anything. You just get swept up by Chain Whirler or Chump Block or something like that. Sand's terrible, but it's got five lands. I certainly like five lands in this matchup. We can draw into Shalai, Dawnbringer, stuff like that. We saw like that that last game. I had two lands. I couldn't. I couldn't win. Five lands. I can win. I just gotta draw. Gotta draw spells. Five lands. We can win. Branch Walker instead of Thorn Lieutenant. I'll take Thorn Lieutenant. The point of my deck is I have four Honor Guards main deck. I'm not playing Branch Walker. Hmm. I wait two turns. I wait two turns. Yeah, I played some Boros Angels. Boros Angels is not nearly as good against control. Um, but it's a deck. Gutter Snipe, Electro Field, and Quasi Duplicate. Ooh. And a bunch of cantrips. Who knows? It could maybe work. Oh, our deck's not liking us today. They just activate Banneret. Am I just taking lethal?
With another Gobo, I think I am. So I block Fanneret. I'm taking two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm taking exactly nine. Well, my opponent had lethal if they just attacked with the other two. I was like, I'm actually taking ten because of that mentor trigger. Yeah, I should have taken ten here. Go down to three. Wait. Gain I can gain six, go to nine, make another blocker. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I still have nine. What if I block with nine? It's the same either way. It's the same either way. Whether I I attack, activate then attack, or just block. I think I have to, so I think just blocking is better because if I tap out, then my opponent Nose. Yeah, maybe they think I have settled the wreckage. Nope. No respect for sell the wreckage. I can block here. Ugh. But I was taking exactly lethal. The banner at made it another one. So I went to minus one. Yeah, their their war boss thing had to attack anyway. Hmm. I don't think I'd lose that matchup too much, but we lost those two games. We weren't very competitive in those two games. I don't think that's a matchup I lose very often. But that happens. Sometimes you just have the the you know, sometimes that happens for for a match. The samples like that. Even good matchups you don't win hundred percent of the time. So we went 0 2 today with this deck. Ugh, first time in a while we did not get five wins with this deck. First time in a while. Um Yeah. Deck's still good, though. I like it quite a bit. We'll play it again sometime soon. But that's going to be it for this deck if you're watching on YouTube. Hopefully hit you hit that subscribe button. Come on back, check out another video. And um, if you want to see this deck do a little better, you can watch the, the video from yesterday when we played this deck. Also, we did some crazy things in that video. There were some crazy games against Golgari in that one also. So... Yeah. Uh, I'm never putting Settle in this deck. Does not need Settle whatsoever. Settle is not a very good card. Do you have a Golgari deck? Um, yeah, yeah, I have different Golgari decks. Um, but yeah, for the YouTube video, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and see.